Hello and welcome to this Gurgaon video. In this video we will give you a lot of inspiration to shoot even better uh, videos and to grow your business also as a video photographer. To help us today we are happy to have video photographer Joey from Finland. So happy to have you here Joey. Thanks, glad to be here. Yeah, Joey will tell us about his uh, business and uh, you will show us some examples of your work. And Joey is here with help from Canon, I have to uh, remember to mention that. And he was, in fact, some of the very first photographers to use the R5C camera. Yeah, this yeah. camera right here. Yeah, great. Joey, before you tell more about ourselves, I think we should jump right into that video that you did with the camera. That was ac actually a pre-production model uh, at a very early time. Yeah, very early, very shot early stage yes, camera. Yes, <laughs> shot uh, at least three months ago. Yeah, somewhere more. three months ago. Yeah, the yeah. beginning of the year. Yeah. Yeah, let's have a look uh, at the video. Awesome. Yeah. Great video, super. How how did that uh, take place? Uh, what happened? That, that uh what happened was, <laughs> <laughs> well, what happened was I had literally like 24 hours with the camera mm -hmm. like before they wrapped it away from me again. Yeah. And um, but yeah, so I had 24 hours with the camera, and I just wanted to, you know, put it on a test drive, like you know, in in the way where I normally do you like my productions so mm -hmm. a lot of handheld stuff whipping just like going doing different interesting angles and you know just trying to explore the frame rates and what the camera is actually capable of doing and um yeah um i was happy to realize afterwards that it resembles a lot like the uh, r5 was mm -hmm. and for me yep. that's perfect because since it's a fairly small camera and um so it's very versatile yep. at least in the way of filmmaking that i'm used to so yeah yeah, yeah. so how did the idea pop up with the drama did you have that in in mind already or yeah um i've been wanting to do something music related for for a while now mm -hmm. and um i just wanted to film something an instrument that is very dynamic mm -hmm. where a lot is happening I love, uh, I come from a commercial background myself. I do a lot of commercials. So, you know, trying to cramp as many cuts and shots as possible in a short period amount of time is something that I'm used to. So, you know, going with the trummer was, you know, easy decision. There. Yeah, okay, yeah. great. And if you guys want to watch uh, behind the scene videos, uh, check out Joey's uh, YouTube channel, jo Joey Palmrose. Uh, and you will see uh, more of the of the setup and how you you did the the shoot. Yeah, um, yeah. it's right there on my YouTube, YouTube channel. The yeah. whole behind the scenes making off. Yeah. Yeah, great. So let's uh, get back a little bit in time and uh, and hear what what uh, how did you happen to stand here today? What what is your history? Here today. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Just a short version. <laughs> in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, yeah. So. Uh, I got interested in film in a way where I was like, okay, I really want to do features one day. But then during my studies, my film studies in London, I sort of fell in love with vis uh, visual storytelling, especially, you know, the commercial side of things where you only had, you know, a small period of time to tell a story. And I don't know, for me, it was just, you know, like a magic trick. Like, how do you do that? Like, how can I tell something that people might when a loop over and over again, or if they can get emotion out of something that is only 20 seconds long, for me, that was like, wow, magic. Like, how can I do that? And I got more and more into that, into that world. And um, yeah, so through that, I started creating commercials. I yeah. started as a first AD in London, assistant director, and um, then started out, you know, trying my own thing, creating commercials of my own, just freelancing, creating not so interesting company, you know, videos as you do when mm -hmm. you're first starting out. And then, 
one thing led to another and I got to do bigger projects and bigger projects and I guess why I'm standing here now is why I also got to do this video together with Canon was because I also do and share share a lot of my own work on YouTube as well. So I yep. do a lot of behind the scenes, breaking down my projects, how do I go about my films, how I create specific shots and stuff like that. So um, through that, I guess I got to try out this camera and um, I've been a Canon boy myself my entire life. Mm -hmm. And um, I was really honored when they first reached out and asked if I wanted to give this baby a go. So yeah, it, yeah. so um, that, now I'm that, here, happy to short, be here with short you. Version. Yeah, <laughs> we are so happy to have you here. Yeah, sorry if Break. that short version wasn't too short for you. <laughs> no, 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 that was fine, just fine. Okay, but your education was from, from London where you had your, yeah. your skills. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, I'd say like film school, it was like any other film school, I think. Um, you know, you learn about the history, you also obviously create stuff, create, mm. short, you know, short films and this and that. I, I feel like film school for me was more, you know, just getting to know people, you know, getting to know other like-minded people like myself. Mm -hmm. And um, when it comes to like skill-wise, I feel like if... If it, if I had this you know decision to make now whether to go to film school or not, I'd probably say no to film school and just okay. learn off of YouTube because there are great tutorials like how you can go about you know different things mm. in this field. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Okay. So how long time have you been professional video photographer? Somewhat, somewhat ten years. I say like that's when okay. I broke free, you yeah, know, yeah. from London. Yeah. Uh, after that, I stopped being a first AD and decided, like, I want to do this just for me. I want to I wanna be the director and mm. I want to be the guy behind the camera. And, yeah. you know, yeah. so yeah. about 10 yeah. years. Yeah, okay. So, And you're, if you should look at your kind of customers you're, you're working with today, what kind of customers is that? Um, Everything, like, from car commercials, uh, recent ones, I did one with Porsche. Mm. Um. Uh, to hotels, Four Seasons, whiskey brands, yeah, you name it. So I do pretty much everything there is between product videos all the way to those bigger car commercials. Yeah, <gasps> and uh, depending on the size of the production, I always build my crew. You know, regarding what the production looks yeah. like. Yeah. Okay. Should we look at some of your products? You mentioned the Porsche uh, commercial. Yeah, we can take a glance at that. Uh, and. Watch that and hear a little about the, the background for that. Yeah, for sure. Lots of action. Uh, Lots fast, of action. Fast, yeah. Fast moving and yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So for me, creating a creating a commercial for a company like Porsche has always been sort of like a, one of the dream brands, like up there, like top three brands to work with. Yeah. Obviously yeah. with Canon. Yeah. Of and course. <laughs> yeah. and um, yeah. So I I was like a little boy after I got that call and yeah just felt surreal that I was able to have all those bigger toys on set as well, like the camera car, the chase car, and professional driver driving the Porsche, and, uh, you know, not just me hanging from the trunk of my car, creating no, a car commercial, no, no. but, like, actually doing it, like, legit way. Yeah. Um, but it still, it doesn't feel like I'm still, I don't know, like, I, for me, this still sort of feels like it's a hobby, but I guess it's it's a good thing as well. Um, yeah. how, how much freedom did you get to make the movie? Did you had a, a strict uh, script script over the? I wrote film? the script. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. I uh, I did the pitch for them and then wrote the script around that pitch and then put the crew together and um, had the final say in the edit as well. Okay. Yeah. 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 And how long time did you use for for the shoot? So the shoot took over maybe like three days. Yeah. So uh, for them, it was also like a leap of leap of fate yeah. when turning into me because they've you know just worked with bigger production companies before, and this was just them 
actually directly, you know, directly calling me and asking if I was interested in creating a video for them after them finding me out on social media and yeah. stuff like that. So, yeah. And how, what camera did you use for this? That yeah. one I actually shot entirely with Canon R5. Yeah. Uh, some of the driving shots are shot with uh, RED, but I also did rig, rig the R5 on the chase car as well because yeah. I wanted to have my camera there. Yeah, yeah. But with that, I also wanted to prove, like, nowadays... Nowadays, you don't necessarily need, you know, the biggest, nicest cinema cameras, even though those are nice. Like, you know, who wouldn't want to shoot with RET or, you know, a similar camera to that? Mm. But, like, nowadays, you don't need those because you get everything in a smaller package as well. And with with that Porsche shoot, I also wanted to prove not only to myself, but to a client like Porsche you know, let's face it, in the end of the day, they took a leap of faith. So I was like, okay, let's just go all the way then. Mm -hmm. And um, if they're happy with, you know, how the film looks, and um, then we're golden. So, yeah. yeah. <gasps> Great. So you're going to make uh, more Porsche commercials in the future? Yeah, let's hope so. Yeah. I mean, they were happy with the video, and yeah. um, there are other big car friends as well. Yeah. Um, I've done, I've done like, several car commercials prior to this one. Mm-hmm. Um, with Peugeot and Citroën and Renault, just to name a few. But like this one was definitely something where I got to, you know, take the extra mile and just you know me do me, and where I actually had like a you know bigger budget as well. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> okay, exciting. And, and I think like with all these, you know, what I also try to prove with what I do, obviously, is to create awesome commercials and create, you know, cool videos, but. Also, just to challenge myself is to, you know, create all these videos with a smaller budget because I feel like nowadays when we do have access to all these beautiful machines like this one here, um, the budgets don't need to be that much bigger. But at the same yeah. time, the crew gets smaller. Mm -hmm. So actually to prove, you know, to myself and the clients that something can be shot in two or three days and not to have the hassle of having 60 people on set on the with the big cameras and focus mm -hmm. pullers when you can just rely on the autofocus, yeah. you know? Yeah. So it's um, stuff like that I'm also very interested in yeah. as well. Yeah. And it's typical for uh, a number of the movies you've ever made that it's a quite simple setup. It's You're yeah. not a one-man band, but almost. Almost, You do yeah. the, the filming, the editing, the... Yeah, basically everything is starting grading, from yeah. the pre-production. So I do all the, you know... Pitching the projects after I get um, contacted by a sp you know a specific friend, and yeah. then I write the stories around the pitches that I make, and mm -hmm. then take care of the crew. Like I have the crew that I need for that specific project. If it's yeah. a smaller product video that I'll be just shooting at my studio, I can just you know do it in my underwear. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> convenient. <laughs> but you know, and maybe yeah. ask my brother to you know tag along and help me. But, yeah, you know, yes. maybe have a few drinks while doing that. But yeah. you know, yeah. it it all it's all like very subjective. Um, if it's a bigger commercial, then obviously like the Porsche, then I want to give it all I have and actually like make make something beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super. Should we watch uh, another job you have done? Yes. Great. Another uh, kind of product uh, and another kind of commercial. Yeah. We're into the energy drink. Yeah. yeah. So, for example, the one that we just watched, um, if we're just, we were talking about the crew earlier, so maybe it'd be fun to mention, like, that one was done just me and one assistant, and then we had the client on location. Obviously, we didn't have like a big video village where you can watch the commercial <laughs> or anything because it was just me running around with my hybrid camera. Yeah. And um, yeah, so uh, I, I feel like the good thing, uh, you know, with the way I 
do commercials and all these projects is that it, it is very fast turnovers. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not saying like I wouldn't want to make the bigger ones where we can actually spend two days on creating like 10 seconds mm-hmm. of film, but at the same time, I feel like it is very cost effective to the brands that I'm working with. And especially, you know, in this modern day, like where everything needs to happen like this mm-hmm. and, you know, somebody might like they did actually with that one need something for their new product launch. Yeah. So like everything is, you know, fastly done. So yeah. I think that can only, you know, be beneficial for both them and me. Yeah. 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 And also the production time must be quite, quite short. Yeah. That yeah. one was yeah. probably shot in, I don't know, three hours. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And me Wait. writing it as I went along. I had a small yeah. idea what I wanted to do before, but yeah, that was that was pretty okay. much it. Okay. Yeah. okay. <gasps> Great. Exciting. Uh and once again the, the camera used for this and that was that, that was um Canon R f- hold on. That was added last year. I th- I believe that was R five. R five. Yeah. Once again. Yeah. R five with two different lenses. Uh R F fifteen thirty five mm. and then yep. fifty uh hundred mil. Yeah, Pro. for the for the yeah. product sh- shot. Yeah, yeah, <gasps> that was that. Yeah. yeah, and all shot handheld. Mm-hmm. Um, no sliders, no gimbals, nothing. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and with one light, one one key light, and a few RGB lights. That's it. Yeah, yeah, super. Yeah. So you're happy with the built-in stabilization in the in the R5? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Um, do you use it along with the t- t- gimbals from time to time? I've maybe used it on a gimbal on three different occasions, and that was uh, before before I go into that and to explain like for me gimbals or if I tend to you know show slow mo on my projects, it all depends what I want that specific shot you know to portray, what mood I want that shot to portray. So if I choose to go with a let's say gimbal. Um, it is then like, okay, nothing else is moving. It's like super, super stable image. Whereas let's say with that running video, all the shakiness only added into that motion of, oh, right. you know, rapid fastness energy. Yeah. Um, so there, there needs to be a reason for all the, uh, calls that you make, what gear to use. So, mm-hmm. but plus, like if I want to have super steady footage, R5 and also the R5C are actually pretty freaking you know steady. Like yeah. you can get those so b- buttery smooth you know shots easily just doing handheld, like I did with the uh, drumming video. That was all shot handheld as well. Yeah, yeah. great, great. Um, you have a whiskey commercial also getting yeah. even more into product shooting as i remember it. Yes, yeah. and um, that one is a spec commercial actually. Distilled from peated malt and matured in selected bourbon and sherry casks. Well balanced single malt whiskey. Sabu by Deren Peli. So made as a sh- Made as a short commercial yes. for a TV so, or yes. cinema. Yeah. Short commercial, I'm very yeah. into 15-second commercials mm-hmm. because those tend to be like the ones that companies want the most. You know, cost-effective. They don't cost as much to make. And obviously, like, you know, thinking about the airtime is also cheaper for them to run on, let's say, if you want to run stuff on TV mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. So this was a spec ad, and what a spec ad is? Yes, it's, uh, tell us about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, it's a speculative piece of work. Mm-hmm. So basically, what this was, this is a fake commercial, if you want to, you know, translate it to in other words as well. Mm-hmm. And that is just something that I want to shoot, for, you know, purely just for myself. Um, <clears throat> I do these projects every now and then when I'm not doing client work, mm-hmm. and that is just to sort of just to see what other stuff I can come up with, like shot-wise or, you know, video-wise in general, like how different ways to tell stories. Yeah. And um, I feel like when I do these, it also gives me the time to actually give these new ideas a go. I mean, I would want to try these out, like, on a client shoot and then just fail. No. And um cool thing about these as well are, like... For example, with that one or with a few other ones that I've done in in the past is that then companies have also wanted to buy them. 
And then those have also led to, you know, brand new client relationships. Yeah. yeah and um, yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, you mentioned you do it for yourself, but actually you, you also have a plan B that's saying that maybe, maybe uh, yeah. the brand will discover the film. And, and yeah, I mean, there's, it. there's always a maybe, right? Like, yeah. you know, if, if I shoot a purse commercial, who knows if, you know, it's a big maybe if Lamborghini wants to, yeah. you know, if they mm -hmm. see it and they go like, okay. Yeah. And uh, there's always that cherry on top, hopefully, you yes. know, yeah. that will lead to something else, yeah. that yeah. that project will lead yeah. to something yeah. else. And you used your social media channels for, for promoting that film. What's yeah, going? so... You, you have a huge uh, number of followers on your YouTube channel and you have an Instagram uh, as well. Yeah. Um, How's the story with the, the YouTube channel? You have more than seventy thousand uh, yeah, followers I mean, at this time. I mean, it, it it's it is a big number, but in comparison, like to yeah, other, yeah. <laughs> okay. But uh, <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, it's, for sure, it's, it's been a lot of work to yeah. get where I am, like with those numbers. But at the same time, I barely do think about the numbers. Um, for me, it's just having a good time and just you know, like with the spec spec commercials that I do, like it's. I post those projects there and also my actual commercial work as well. Mm -hmm. Break them down and, you know, for for me, it's not just like a diary place where I can just go and, you know, um, remember when I used to do that a year ago, but it's also a place where I'll get to see later how my skills have maybe improved, like, you know, within the next six months or after a year or after two years. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, um, but also very much a, a, a shopping window. Uh, yeah, for, for sure. For your, yeah, for sure. For and I'd say like 80, I want to say like 80% maybe of the chops that I do get are due to, you know, my social media channels yeah. like YouTube and Instagram. Yeah. And uh, there are several friends that have reached out mainly because they just saw my work on Insta or YouTube. Yeah. <gasps> Great. Should we look a little bit into gear and your cameras and uh, and what your lineup is yeah. maybe we should get back to the first uh, r5c video and and talk about the the yeah. r5c camera what was your experience with that you had uh, uh, experience from the previous cameras r5 mm. and and the uh, 5d mark 4 and the c300 <laughs> yeah so throughout my career thus far i've um i've only used canon cameras and um the first like proper Canon camera that I had was 5D Mark II. Mm -hmm. And I actually did shoot a lot of um, corporate videos with that camera. And I remember like folks just looking at me crazy like, wait, hold on, we're paying you this and you show up on set like with this small thing? <laughs> like them expecting to see a big camera yeah. and crew and whatever. No, yeah. it's just me and the 5D. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> it's been great to see like the development of all these different cameras throughout the years, especially now with this one and the predecessor R5, if you can call it a predecessor, but mm -hmm. um, especially this one, because this it re really is like the first, for me at least, the very first like video first hybrid camera that is on the market where the main focus is the video. And yeah. the cool thing is it still has the photography side of things as well. If yeah. you look at the menu, it is exactly like the R5 is. Mm -hmm. And then we're looking at the video side of things. It is in a perfect line with Canon's other cinema line yeah, cameras that's, that's that I'm used quite, to as quite well. Quite brilliant when you switch over from yeah. still, you have the menu from the R5 camera and yeah. vice versa for the uh, video, you have the menu for yeah. Yeah. similar to the uh, cinema cameras. And the cool, camera. and I think like the, what the cool thing is like throughout the years when all these brands and folks have, you know, used to see me all with all these cameras, but now, you know, obviously back then the image quality, it was okay, but it wasn't where it is right now. Mm -hmm. And then when looking at the size of the cameras and what they were expecting, now it is, it is here. And like, I actually wouldn't want to show up on set with this big camera where I need a separate focus puller, for example. Mm -hmm. I know that I'm there and I can capture everything with this. And um, I know that in the end of the day, after that production day is over, like I know I have everything because I shot it with this one. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. So the very th first thing you, you thought when you shot with the first big advantage from this camera compared to the R5, what, what would that be? Um, I mean, I had a lot of questions from people uh, <laughs> throughout. <laughs> 
throughout like the last year, year and a half, like people asking me on YouTube, Instagram. So Joey, I'm thinking about the R5, but I've heard all these rumors about the overheating thing. And I mean, I used Canon R5's 124K nonstop throughout those year and a half. And not once did the camera shut down on me. But I understand where they're coming from. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to shoot a documentary in no, 4K. No, in, in three hours. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So for me, shooting projects that I shoot, I prep my shot. I do that 10, 20-second take. Perfect for those. Mm. I mean, same goes with any other camera. And if you really think about, like, how small and compact this and the R5 is, like, it is mind-blowing that all of that can be done 4k 8k whatever k yeah. like it is it is built in this small small piece of camera yeah and um so when i first uh got this i immediately fell in love with the fact that this doesn't give the signs of overheating this runs perfectly and um yeah, I mean, talking about all other specs that this this baby has, but yeah, like that was my first probably like take on this camera. Yeah. Because I felt like okay, maybe I could you know shoot that documentary now <laughs> in 4K 120. <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah. um yeah, so that was my first feel, and also it was it was familiar. That was like for me it was very important. It was familiar. Um, I did like the C70, but I still stuck with uh, stick with. R5 because I did like the DSLR shape of it. And I like the fact that this has that. It's a little bit bulkier than the R5. It's like R5 on steroids is what I call mm. this. <laughs> There's <laughs> and, another uh, balance actually <laughs> yeah. in the camera. Yeah. And it is it is light. Like if you take the lens off, it is super light. Mm -hmm. So I feel like the lens is actually weights more obviously with the class than the than the body itself. Yeah. Yeah. And it is perfect for you know the line of work that I do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How about lenses? What kind of lens, lens <laughs> do you use? So I brought. You have ten along with you in in the in the back box? home. Back home, I got a few more lenses, but I thought I'd bring two of my favorite lenses with me. So we got the RF fifteen thirty five, and yeah. then we got the RF fifty. So one, I'd say one point two. Yes. Yeah. One point. Yes. One point two. One point two. One point two. Yes. <laughs> I'm just testing you. you yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, these are my favorite lenses. Fifteen thirty five. I um, shoot a lot in in a studio space in maybe like tight small places. So it gives me that you know wide angle. I absolutely love that. <clears throat> and also the you know it goes all the way up to thirty five. I love the look of the thirty five, and um, it's a beautiful piece of lens and i love the rf uh, lens series to begin with because it has all the info built in the lens that works amazingly well together with the camera so these two are built just to support one another so you know and how about the autofocus you use that all the time or yes so yeah. because i don't have that focus fuller <laughs> that <laughs> no, i already mentioned right. so <laughs> we need him yeah <laughs> or so it is that that is something that I always you know loved about Canon, and uh, especially R5, and especially this one is I can just rely on the autofocus. Yeah. Whether it's a person I'm filming or whether it's a product video I'm filming a product or a car, like it can it can um, track. Was it like a dog's eye or a bird's eye yeah, or something? Yes, yeah, yeah. There yeah, we go. Yes. So <laughs> picture a hummingbird flying. I know like that hummingbird will be in focus. Yes. So. <laughs> So I can always rely on that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. What other kind of accessories do we bring on a on a set? Um, not the gimbal very much. Not yeah. gimbal that no, much, no. but slider. I got slider. um Rhino Arc Two. Is it Rhino? Yeah, Rhino Arc Two slider. Mm -hmm. Um, with with a track, yeah. like a meter meter long track. That I tend to use with product videos just mm -hmm. to get that small movement, and if I want to have it, you know anything in the foreground yeah. and just to like build that world up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, on that, I heavily rely on my Aperture and Godox light uh, gear as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think those are amazing to different manufacturers. And um, what else? What else do I have? Uh, with, yeah. the, with the R5, the, uh, the handle, the, the handle, battery yeah. prep. Yeah. 
Haven't still gotten one for this one, but um, if and if I'm, I'm not actually sure if one is out yet. Do you know? No, you got me here. I'm, did I'm, I? Yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> cool. Uh, because it's not the same we as got the R5, isn't it? Yeah. No, yeah. We uh, we have to look that up on our website. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd say like those are the biggest ones, and for me, on top of the camera and lenses, like the main thing that I always, you know, really need to make sure that I have the very best equipment is the lighting. So Godox and Aperture yeah. and, um, yeah. Great, great. But you have come a long way uh, in the in the period where your business has been running. If you should give any advice to young uh, video photographers wanting to start up, I think you may be wanted to, th that you would like yeah. to have known when you started up. What y would that be? Um, I'd say just keep shooting sp I mean, if you if you want to be in commercial business or if you want to be in, you know, drama and short film and or music videos or if you want to do documentaries, whatever the topic is, I say just keep shooting speculative work of that field, yeah. of that niche. Um, I feel to like keep you up in speed and yeah, because develop. I feel like if I if I didn't film all these spec ads that I do that I also share on social media, I feel like I wouldn't be here now. Oh. Um, because it is all that work that only I improves my own skills and it forces me to create more because I do get more ideas maybe from that one spec ad shoot, you know, or then the next one, or maybe I get an idea from that client shoot. So yeah. why not go and, you know, give that a, give that a test mm. on your own? Yeah, yeah. How do you get inspiration? To, do you have some particular areas you, f you follow or people uh, you follow? Yeah, I, I mean, I follow I follow a few commercial filmmakers. My mentor Peter Risky, it's a Finnish film director. Mm -hmm. Got to know him in London. He's done actually like the whole st like visual storytelling like genre like how I want to do things is because of him, I I think. Um obviously like I've shown like few things here and there that he doesn't do, but um like you know, started from him. Yeah. Um, and ob obviously, like, feature film directors, I love um, Guy Ritchie's films. Yeah. He does a lot of fast-paced editing, and um, all his montages have these very commercial, like, fast-paced, fast cuts, you know, jump cut editing. And, yes. um Yeah, that's super dope. That's down your road. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, great. All right. Uh, I think we should uh, wrap up. Yeah. This okay. uh, talk. Thank you so much for for coming. What what is your plan in the, in the future? If we should well end up with that. Um, like I said, like I got into this because of I wanted to. Uh, at some point, I do want to make my own feature one day. And mm -hmm. um, commercials have you know stolen my heart <laughs> thus far. Yeah. But uh, I I have shot a few you know short short, short uh, stories here and there. So. One of my goals for the upcoming years is to create a feature from one of those short films that I've done, and um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how yeah. that goes. So. Yeah. Okay. All the best with with that. Thanks. Yeah, and thank you so much. No, thanks for, for having me. Here. And thank you out there for watching the video, and uh, take uh, care out there. Thanks, and bye now. <laughs>